in the early hours of New Year's Day 1915 in the outback town of Broken Hill, Mullah Abdullah and Gul Muhammad fired upon a picnic train, killing four people and wounding many more. Then they retreated to a rocky outcrop and made their last stand against the police and local militia. And they took refuge up here behind these rocks and uh, th that's when the Battle of Broken Hill started. This story begins some 80 years earlier, when camels were suggested as a mode of transport to explore the dry interior of the continent. The first large-scale importation of camels began in 1866, along with the camels 31 camel handlers disembarked in Port Augusta. This was the beginning of a new life for the Muslim cameleers. Everything was done by hand and uh, I think uh, their life was uh, a pretty strenuous one. I guess Pop was just a person who liked to look good. Around the house he wore the usual um, bloomers and jacket and the, the turban, but when he went out, and especially when he was going to Parliament House, he was always dressed with a, a jacket on and trousers and looked very smart. I don't know if they thought they would find themselves living on the edge of society because this was the, the rampant age of the white Australia policy and it was race that decided whether Australia would open its door to you or slam it in your face. I think my mum and dad were both a very strong willed. He would fight tooth and nail as they say to, to get justice. Jack Akbar was determined to marry his young sweetheart Lally, but external forces were keeping them apart. The West Australian Government's policy under the supervision of Chief Protector of Aborigines, Orba Octavius Neville, was quite extraordinary. The policy was to Europeanise and Christianise mixed blood Aborigines, taking them away from their parents and raising them in missions or orphanages while full bloods, he believed, would eventually die out. Neville wrote extensively about his theories on Aborigines. Central Australia's half-caste problem must be tackled boldly and immediately. The greatest danger, experts agree, is that three races will develop in Australia, white, black and the pathetic, sinister third race, which is neither. Frederick Vosper was a man without much regard for the Afghans and he used every opportunity to demonise the Afghans. We fear a low, degenerate, mongrel race of human beings will follow where they lead. And for the protection of our Anglo-Saxon race, we say emphatically, Hushta, which means lay down, we have no use for you at present. By the early afternoon, the two Afghans were dead. Surrounded on all sides, they eventually succumbed to the hail of bullets. The bodies were taken away and secretly buried. Its location is unknown to this day. That probably gave Australia the lifeline to the outback. And without them, I don't know who would have opened the outback up.